welcome back to my channel. So today's kind of a fun video. If you are an aspiring hairstylist, going to cosmetology school, just graduating cosmetology school, or you are a hairstylist, you're gonna find this video super beneficial. Or if you just like watching beauty things, you'll probably still like it. So today's video is actually going to be taking a look inside of my pro hair kit. Um, I've actually never really shown people inside my hair kit before besides like if you're ever on a job with me or if you work with me, you know what's inside. Um, but most of the time I just, I don't know, I've never really shown people. Um, but I am always a traveling hairstylist. I work with a company who we literally are never always in the salon. We can be literally anywhere at all times. So um, I always have to have a hair kit that's on the go and that has everything in it at all times. So I figured why not make a video and share with you guys all of my tips and tricks, my hacks on how I travel with abundance of hair products and basically how I organize and stuff because I've been doing this for a couple years now and I think I'm pretty sure I nailed down the perfect method on organization and the tools and products I need. Now, with that being said though, I always change up products and I'm always adding fun new tools that come out. So things do change in that aspect, but most of the time this is like, what I've nailed down to be like the perfect method. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. I'm gonna share with you guys everything that's in my hair kit. Long awaited hair kit video. I know I've talked about this for a while. I've had some people actually DM me and say that they were going to hair school and they really would be interested in seeing this type of video. So I'm here for it because actually I have tried to search like other celebrity hairstyles that I love and a lot of them keep all of their secrets to themselves. They do not share anything, which I get, but then it's also like not fun at the same time because I'm really, really curious. But I'm not gonna be that person. I'm gonna share with you guys all of my little, my little trinkets, my little secrets in here. So before I open up my big suitcase, I just wanna share with you guys what is in this case right here. So this case actually contains just my blow dryer. Um, yes, I'm that crazy, that excessive, but um, this is actually my Dyson blow dryer. So with that being said, since this blow dryer is not the cheapest thing on the market, um, I like to keep it in its own case just because it, that way I know it's safe, it's wrapped up properly, and that way it will try and stay in its best condition as possible. So um, yeah, I get that I just put it in this case. I don't leave it in my actual kit itself. It also just leaves extra room anyways in my kit, so that's awesome. But I'll share with you guys my blow dryer. So this is the blow dryer. This is my Dyson. I am a huge Dyson fan, you guys. I have been a Dyson lover for years and I finally have my own. It is not cheap like I said, but it is well worth it in my opinion. Um, I know you guys may have seen my Dyson Airwrap video versus the Revlon styler. That I don't love from Dyson, but their blow dryer is honestly freaking amazing. I've been using this um, since September. Um, officially have one my own since September and I freaking love it, I'm so obsessed. I've used them in the past, other people's friends, all their blow dryers. So I'm very familiar with the blow dryer, but actually having one of my own, it's been since September, and I treat this thing like it's my baby. So um, yeah, I keep it in its own case. It does have two concentrator nozzles, and then of course the diffuser, which is actually freaking amazing. If you have curly hair, or if you're trying to style men's hair in a certain way, especially men's curly hair, this diffuser is insane it's so good so yeah I just keep my blow dryer in its own little case and it's awesome because I got this off of Amazon I think it was like 30 bucks to be honest and it comes with a little shoulder strap too now for the main attraction my kit so this luggage is actually a cow pack um, if you guys don't know I am a huge cow pack fan I love cow packs so much they just have really good like durability and um, really good storage and just, I don't know, it's great, I love them. So yeah, um, this is a carry-on size. I try to not carry anything bigger than that unless I'm doing something crazy and extravagant like you know, needing hair extensions and more and more in there, then I will upgrade to a bigger suitcase and I will kind of transfer everything over. But most of the time, I am always using my little carry-on cow pack. So we're gonna open her up. And this is basically what it looks like inside when I open it. All right, so over here on the side, um, I always have a towel. Sometimes I have more than one towel, but in here I just had 
I'm actually washing the towels. So most of the time I normally have like one or two. I like to lay out um, the space that I'm working on with towels for protection. Um, hairspray gets everywhere and also just heat tools. It's an added pad between the surface you're working on. So um, I usually carry a ton of towels with me, but this is just for demonstration so you guys can see. Um, and then I always have a little handheld mirror so that way the client I'm working on can go to the bathroom and look at the back of their head while they're looking at the front too. So always carry a handheld mirror. I usually get these at like Cosmoprop, Sally's, Amazon, Target, like you can find these literally anywhere. So just a handheld mirror. I also have a like long, big um, heating pad. I always lay this out with my curling irons on it, straighteners, whatever it may be, whatever hot tools I'm using. They are always on this specifically. I do not oh, like rely on towels um, if I'm in someone else's space or if I'm in a hotel or whatever it may be. I try to travel and never forget my heating pads because you do not want to burn through and like basically heat burn someone's surface. So I always travel with this and it's just safe, safe so that way you're not starting a fire. <laughs> I actually got this off of Amazon. I will try and link all of my favorite stuff that's in here. I'm gonna link everything below for you guys. Um, so that way you can shop the things that I'm talking about as well. So this is like the first organized part of the kit that you guys mainly see when you open it up. So uh, these two clear organized compartments are hair products. I try to, they're never always in the same like bag too, like they always manage to get mixed up. I usually like when I'm trying to leave, I'm like whatever fits, just get in there. <laughs> but um, this one is just like mainly aerosols, hairsprays, texturizers, shine sprays, you name it, it's in here. Um, I don't really, I'm not really like brand specific um, when I'm doing like hardcore styling. I just, whatever works, I will use it. Um, I am brand specific when it comes to like main styling, color, and all that. I love Davines. I'm actually a Davines trained artist, and they're amazing. So um, I am brand specific when we talk about that, but when I am on site and I just need something to like basically stronghold the crap out of something, um, I go between Kenra, Defiaba, Davines too. They have really great hairsprays, and Way. Way is one of my all their favorites. I love Way. So yeah, I. I'm not really crazy about what I use. As long as it works and it does the job right, I will use it. Um, so these clear bags, I got these off of, well this one's off of Amazon. These ones are Zuka bags. If you are a pro artist, um, you are able to access these on a few pro websites or you can access these bags on Camera Ready Cosmetics. I will link them below. Um, and if you're a pro, you can register for a discount so you can save money on your bags or whatever you're ordering. Um, always just check that out too. If you wanna be a hairstylist or makeup artist, they have so many like great products on Camera Ready Cosmetics. It's mainly makeup artist focused, but their stuff is amazing. It's all pro stuff, so you will want to go crazy on there. All of my hair products contained in these clear bags. Um, one, it's just helps to be organized so you open it up and it looks professional and um, whoever you're working with is like wow you're like really organized ready to go I can literally pull these out and get everything set up very quickly because it's so organized and two since these are hair care products sometimes things spill and they leak and this is really contained so it doesn't really get everywhere which is awesome over here this is another Zuka like compartment container um, whatever you want to call it. I'm losing all of my sense of knowing all my words. So I keep a lot of my brushes organized like this. I am still having a tough time though because I'm trying to figure out the best way to pack them because sometimes they get a little smushed which is like not my favorite but I'm still working on it, <laughs> finding the best way. Um, but this is basically just where I keep all my round brushes and like boar bristle, flat brushes, all that stuff. Um, I usually have every single size with me so I can really do any style. Um, I This is like my on the go kit. So this is actually not what I travel with or use in store. I use all of this stuff on the go, um, which is so easy. So nice, so everything is always packed. So I always make sure I have every single size, every single brush I need, always packed and ready to go. Um, I never 
use these in the store and then pack it up and go. I just try to keep one kit packed all the time for on the go, just in case. Over here, I have two little Tupperwares. You will see more as we progress into the rest of my kit. But I have, um, I actually get this Tupperware specifically from Target. You can find it at TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Um, I just try to find it divided like lunchbox containers. And I organize my bobby pins this way. So that way I can always have every color and it's all organized. This one got a little messed up last weekend. <laughs> We had a lot of bridal party members, but um, this is basically how I keep things organized. I have another one in here you guys will see later, but um, yeah, it's just an easy way to have everything clean and organized and you're not carrying around the bobby pin boxes that they come in or the like the circle containers that they come in. Everything is literally organized and looks professional so you can literally just open it up pour it out and then you're good. And then this um, little container I get off of Amazon, I usually buy a couple of these. Um, I usually refill them, so like I keep the container but I buy a couple because it's always just good to have a ton on you. And um, this is just more bobby pins, regular hair pins and hair ties, so always good to have. All right, so that concludes this side. We're gonna flip it around and I'll show you guys the other side of my kit. This side, this actually is like kind of a fun side too. Um, in here, in this first zipper compartment, I keep just on hand, just in case, I actually need to refill it because I usually have a ton more of like little inserts. Um, I just keep little hair donuts. So like <laughs> little mesh hair donuts. Sometimes I make my own little hair pieces with um, synthetic hair and I'll kind of like melt it a little bit and then kind of roll it up to do a little hair insert and use a little hair, hair Oh my God, I can't talk today. A little hair net to kind of capture it. But yeah, I just usually keep hair inserts in here just to have on hand. You never know when you're gonna need something or someone wants a big, big bun and they have like no hair on their head. Um, these come in handy for sure. I do have some Kish uh, bobby pins that I keep. I don't even know why I have these. I might have like been gifted them. I have no idea. but. They're really great bobby pins. I've used a couple, so I just keep them in here. You never know. And sometimes if I've like got to run out and I don't really want to carry like a full box of bobby pins, I can just carry something like this, I guess. I don't know. They're in here. All right. So in this like stretchy compartments, I have a curling iron here that just takes like curling iron rod attachments instead. So this, I just store all of the sizes in here. So that way I always have them on hand and I can decide if I like need a super, super big one or whatever, um, I keep them in here. And this side, this is like the extra tools and hot tools side. So this actually goes with my Dyson. I should probably put that in that bag, but this is just a Dyson um, like hot pad basically uh, to set the blow dryer on and it grips it so that way it does not slide off the table and fall and crash on the floor and then your heart breaks like five million times over. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this bag right here. Um, this bag has a lot of like, like my random tools that I absolutely love and like I literally can't live without. So I will share with you guys these things and some of these are actually um, little tips and tool tricks that I've taken from celebrity artists that I've watched videos on or just like they've shared their little secrets on like random videos you stumble upon um, which I feel so lucky about because now they're like my holy grails so in here I just have like a bunch of different brushes that I use I try to sanitize my brushes every time I put them back into my kit I really really try if I cannot sanitize them I will put them in a different area so that way I know they're to be sanitized and I don't put them in like a clean area but this is just a Kevin Murphy Boar Bristle Smoothing Brush. It's literally my favorite brush of life. It's so freaking good. Um, I love this, I can't live without it. And then this is just a uh, Paul Mitchell like detangling brush. Um, this one's great, it's not like my holy grail, but it's in there. An extra Boar Bristle Round Brush. Always gotta have these for smoothing. I also have in here Brow powders. I actually use brow powders for like hairlines specifically so that way I can make a hairline look perfect or I can fill in bald spot areas or thinned areas, especially with like high ponies and like, you know, near your hairline, like you want it to look perfect and smooth. So I literally just ordered this um, brow palette off of Amazon. It's like literally a no name. It 
isn't like the best thing ever, but it's perfect for your hair because like I don't need a crazy pigmented powder or anything like that. I just wanted an ashy based palette and this was perfect for me. So, and I just bought like this random, I think this was like so cheap, but this is just like a little brush set that I got off of Amazon and I use this to apply the brow colors into the hairline. I also have in this little baggie, because I found it was necessary, was to pack my extension scissors. Now, if you um, are going to be going into more like hairstyling and you obviously are collecting your scissors, collect your, or like don't throw away or like get rid of your hair school shears. These shears are the best for extensions because you can ruin them and you don't have to worry about it because it's... It's not real hair, like it's not someone else's real hair you're cutting, it's just extensions. I use these all the time for extensions. These are so bad, you can tell they need to be sharpened so bad. I would never use these on someone else's head, but on extensions or something like that, I don't mind it. So I just keep them in this little baggie because it's easy and it's safe, I don't get stabbed by them. And yeah, both of these are off of Amazon. So then I also just have a bunch of combs. I always travel with more than one of everything. So I have some Cricut um, metal rat tails. These are mainly used for like hair foiling, but I also love them for like really defined sectioning. And like I said, two of everything. So um, I even sometimes have like four of everything, but this is just some regular cutting combs. You never know when you need a cutting comb. So I always have them. And then I have some teasing based combs. These are insanely good. I got these off of Amazon a while ago and I reach for these all the time. I keep two in the drawer at the salon and then I also keep um, two in my kit, but these are so good. They're from Amazon. I will link them below for you guys. They are amazing. I literally can't live without them. This is also just a wide tooth comb. I always have one, especially if someone shows up with wet hair. You don't really work on super, super wet hair often, but, or at least I don't, <laughs> but, um, unless I'm in the salon, of course, but on site, usually it's like damp or already dry hair, but a wide tooth comb is always nice to have for a little detangling. Um, and then the last thing that I have in here is my gold toothbrush. You guys might be looking at this and be like, what the heck? Why did she have a toothbrush in there? And I sometimes get clients being like, is that a toothbrush? This thing is so freaking amazing. Um, I'm so happy to share with you guys too because I found this little trick from Jen Atkin. Not only can you use this thing on your baby hairs, of course, with some gel, you can also use it when you are trying to smooth flyaway hairs. You just spray a little hairspray on the brush and then go and you just smooth the top of the head the way you want it. You can smooth down part lines. It's just, it's so good. I love this trick. I literally cannot live without this. I need to order like six more because it's literally my favorite thing ever. So um, get yourself a little gold toothbrush or whatever kind of toothbrush you want as long as it looks somewhat professional. That's why I ordered this one off of Amazon because it was professional looking. It didn't look like I went to the store and bought a Colgate toothbrush. Um, but yeah, I love this and it just, it works so good. So I got this tip from Jen Atkin, like I said, um, and a lot of her like friend hairstylists do the same thing. So I feel like I'm channeling my inner pro, 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 pro hairstylist. <laughs> But I love this trick, so get yourself a toothbrush. And like I said before, I have some more bobby pins in here. In this container, I have hair pins specifically, and I need to find a new container for my hair bungees, but until then, they live in here, and I have hair bungees in every single color that they come in. I love these. If you've never used hair bungees, I will use, I will kind of show you guys one that's more colored. So this is a hair bungee. If you've never used one, it's basically just a hook on one end with a hair tie in the middle and a hook on another end. You can also make your own with a hair tie and bobby pins, two bobby pins, but I like to buy hair bungees specifically because they literally just like snatch. I hate that I'm saying that word, but they literally snatch a hairstyle. They are so good. And it just helps that you don't mess up a really tight pony um, and get like bubbles anywhere. It just keeps everything in place and sleek. And you're able to keep one hand on your pony at all times and tie the hair with the other and you don't ever have to let go. It's amazing. 
So um, I actually just buy my hair bungees off Amazon. Like I said, Amazon, please sponsor me because I literally buy everything. <laughs> so hair bungees live in there along with hairpins. I also have some regular hair elastics and hair ties in here just in case. Okay, I'll go over to this bag and then I will share with you guys my hair tools. So in this baggie is literally pins galore. Um, it's like every hairpin you ever needed. So I have a ton of these alligator sectioning clips. I love these because I like the flexibility in the clips. So that way I can, you know, grab onto any kind of hair I need to. I have so many in here. You never know how many you're gonna need. So the more the merrier. Um, I also have old school hairpins. These are amazing and always needed, especially if you're setting someone's curls, if you're doing an old Hollywood look, whatever it may be. They're always necessary. And if you guys are OGs of mine or clients of mine, you know I use these for my blowouts. And then in here, I have more hairpins. More, more, and more. I always keep on hand these little, I don't even know what you call them. I call them runway pins because it just helps when you're like working on a model or a bride or whatever kind of client you're working on. Um, these help by pinning the hair out of the way, but not putting any creases in the hair. I keep these on hand all the time. I love them. <laughs> these are metal hairpin alligator clips, whatever you want to call them. I love these. And gold is my color, so I ordered gold ones, but these are great. I always keep these on hand. You never know when you're going to need just metal pins instead, so I keep these all the time. I wanted to share this with you guys actually real quick too because I just found this in one of the random pockets and I never shared it with you guys um, because it was in the wrong spot, okay? This is what happens when um, you don't look over your kit first. But anyways, this thing is actually freaking amazing. So this is like a little, do you guys remember like back in the day when we had these like snap bracelets? It looks like a Gucci, but it's not. Um, it's Cricut. <laughs> but this is just like a little snap bracelet, but it's actually a magnet. So I actually stick my bobby pins to this. And when I'm working on updos and stuff, I just pull the bobby pins from here. I'm able to still like work the best with my hands and I have to like reach like crazy for bobby pins. It's just amazing. So I actually got this from Cosmoprof. I will try and link something like, like this below for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just wanna share that with you guys because it's actually one of my favorite tools as well. So as you guys could tell, like a common thing I was doing is like items go in like bags so that way you're always organized and you know you can easily grab a bag that you need or if you have an assistant with you that day sometimes we do have assistants with us on certain jobs and when we do I can always say can you grab my pin hairpin bag I need my hairpin bag or can you grab my round brush bag I need my round brushes like that assistant if they've never worked with me before can easily t know what I'm talking about it's awesome so hair tools I try to travel with minimal hair tools and just travel with my key items that I actually need and also having this one curling iron that I showed you guys with all the rods I'm able to travel with more curling irons and not actually more curling irons so this is just the hot tool curl bar I think it's called um, and this is the curling iron that attaches to these guys so you can actually have a curling iron like in like four different sizes, it's amazing. Um, it's more of a curling wand, obviously, but it just helps so I can travel with more curling irons and not actually like so many in one area. Um, this actually was formulated for hairstylists, so if you just looked at that and you were like, how the heck did she use that thing on herself? I don't, <laughs> I use it on clients. It actually was made for hairstylists because our arms are always in the worst positions when we use curling wands. So this was Hot Tools method to make it a little bit easier to curl hair and not kill ourselves. So that is why I have that and I actually love it. The other curling iron I have in here is another Hot Tools. This is my one inch curling iron. So um, I usually try to travel with every size curling iron just in case. So this is a one inch, um, really amazing. Hot Tools is one of my favorites. Um, and then GHD, this is one and a half inch curling iron. I love this curling iron so much, it's so freaking good. And GHD is one of my favorites, so um, yeah, always travel with that. And then you can't go anywhere without a hair straightener, so I always have a hair straightener on deck just in case. Um, you never know when you're gonna need it or if you gotta smooth someone's hair and you just need a hair straightener or if you're gonna curl with it or straight looks, you know the gist, so. Always travel with a hair straightener, so I got that in here. And as you guys can tell, like, 
I have technically four, five, six. I have six curling irons technically in this kit if you count this one with the four attachments and I have a hair straightener. It's amazing. This is the way I keep a condensed practical packed kit and I'm not so overwhelmed. It's amazing. All right y'all, so yeah, that's it for my kit. Um, I hope this was easy to understand for you guys and um, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the little bits and pieces that I keep in here and how I keep it organized. Um, it's kind of like a lot of work, but you will thank me later if you are a hairstylist or trying to be one because when you're trying to, you know, dig into your kit and like get ready and get set up real quick, this has literally saved me like 15 minutes every job. It's insane before and after. So, um, yeah, definitely try this stuff out and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Um, or if you have any other tips let me know down below. I am always here for tips. So if you guys have any suggestions of things I might need, products, tools, um, organization things, like, let me know down below in the comments. I'm always curious. I want to know other people's feedback and other help. If you're a hairstylist, let's talk. Let's chat. Let's talk on social. Like I want to know more. I want to be involved. So yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my little, my little kit and my little baby.